On Thursday afternoon, the counting of the first round of the Kiribati election remained incomplete following the polling across the country on Wednesday. As RNZ Pacific's correspondent in Kiribati, Rimon Rimon, told Don Wiseman, the collating of information after elections may need modernization. I think the whole nation spent most of the night staying up doing their own tallies. Um, I think Kiribati needs to really establish a, a system of having a central result tally that, that really helps people with it. And so all of the results that we're coming around or flying around now, unofficial reports, of course, these will need to be become official so later on in the day. But throughout the night, up into the wee hours of the morning, Radio Kiribati has been broadcasting live. They don't usually do that. They have their own broadcasting times, which is mainly in the morning, noon and evening. But exceptions only on national events like elections itself. And so people were glued last night to their radios, listening to old folk songs and, and, and Kiribati songs, uh, and in between the announcements will be made from the radio. And so there will be a popular jingle that goes first, alerting people that a new result is out. And that, that means one of the electorate confirmed and finalized their, their counting and has given that information to the radio station. And so um, that's when the people are really glued up to the, the radios and, and with their own papers and tallying. And then we'll find out, we found out um, each electorate as they, they, their results came out last night. So that's sort of like an activity that, that took up most of the time last night and up until the early morning hours. And now right into noon uh, on, on the following day, we're still waiting on the the last remaining electorates who are yet to, to finalise their counts. How many electorates still to come in? We're still waiting on, on, on that uh, information. There's no like uh, uh, website that we go to. So it's all a community level effort where we ask each other and, and, and they point us to you know, information available where. But what we're seeing right now is that TUC in South, in South Tarawa, which is the, the most populous out of all the electorates, uh, is the one that we're stuck on. We're, I'm also hearing that we're stuck with Desio, which is the other the main biggest electorate on in South Tarawa, as well as uh, North Tarawa, which is uh, also another electorate in, in, in the island of Tarawa that has uh, constitutes, I think, one of the largest populations as well, uh, more voters. And I think well into the, 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 the later in the day when people are having dinner on their table, we would have a clear picture of a final result. OK, OK, because the information is obviously critical if... There is an election for those who didn't get the 50%. has to be held in just a couple of days' time. Indeed. Indeed. So um, there are only a certain number of um, electorates who uh, have three seats within parliament. I don't have the figures right now at the, in front of me, Don, but those are the, mainly the electorates, the three-seat electorates and the two-seat electorates and, uh, be, are basically the ones that are going to the second round. And so what we're seeing last night is that at least one of the candidates acquired more than 50% vote, and that, that meant he's the newly elected member of that uh, island. So if, if there are three seats in, in an electorate, the top three... Are and the, who, the top three that, that did not reach the 50% mark will go to in, uh, the, the second round of elections. And so that goes as well for the electorates with two seats. The ones that uh, acquired more than 50% have been announced last night on Radio Kiribati. And the remaining top top three or top two will uh, contest in the second round of elections on Monday. And that becomes very tough then in South Tarawa, where there are, well, I think, 22 candidates. Um, a number of seats as well, of course, but a lot of people will be presumably out as a result of that rule. Well, unfortunately, yes, and um, you know, I think there's, uh, I think it's more than ten people uh, candidates uh, running from the capital, right? And, and, and this is really the main focus in all in all Kiribati elections because that's where most of uh, Kiribati people do dwell, in, uh, and this is the capital. And so I think more than 10 candidates vying for three seats. You understand uh, how, how that works, so with those numbers. So what the preliminary results we're seeing now, which are unofficial results are done, really show that three candidates have stood out with their numbers. And so how we know the numbers throughout the night and throughout this morning, uh, early in the, the early hours of the morning, was that uh, each count that, that was completed from each village or each ward was somehow managed to, to, to go online. And, and so that, that information was shared. So in a sense, before the radio, uh, now the official radio announcement was made last night or to, whenever a result is, is finalised, people already knew the numbers. So who, who that candidate won from that, 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 that island, you know? 
And so right now, the radio is still on and, and things are just being finalized. But already what we see with the results, especially in South Tarawa, the, the results are quite, uh, the unofficial results are quite uh, telling that we have two old members are coming back and uh, a new member. So old candidates who, who were who also in parliament in the last four years seem to be leading the race. In interim results to hand on Thursday after the first round of the Kiribati election, Radio Kiribati reported 22 out of the 23 constituencies had been counted. Among those retaining their seats were the incumbent president, Tanis Mamau, in Onotoa, and the opposition leader, Tessie Eria Lambon, in Abemama. Six MPs in the last parliament, including one cabinet minister, are reported to have lost their seats. As of Thursday afternoon, the counting for 41 out of the 44 seats in the parliament had been completed. So far, in 16 of these seats, no candidate has secured more than 50% of the vote, which is the threshold for an outright win. This means the top three polling candidates for each seat will contest in a runoff round on Monday.